everyone, welcome back to my channel and today is a special day. It's my husband's birthday and we're going to make some myokguk, the birthday soup. It's a Korean seaweed soup. It's very delicious, it's good for your body. A lot of women have this when they're pregnant or actually after when they have given birth. And also we have it on our birthdays as well. I have this one that's already pre-cut. Usually I have the long ones that are big and you kind of have to cut up a little bit yourself, but conveniently I have this one today, so we are going to use the pre-cut ones. We are going to soak this in water about 30 to 45 minutes. Take a handful. We're going to let this soak and really a little bit goes a long way. Even though it looks like a little bit now, it'll almost double, triple in size, so don't make the mistake of pouring the whole bag in because it'll have way too much. I just put it in the water and it's already expanding a bit. We'll see you in about 30 minutes. All right, we're going to start on our broth. I have about six cups of rice water. You can also just use regular water. I'm going to add in a few pieces of anchovies and kelp. I have about five ounces of boneless short ribs. You can use any kind of beef if you want, or you can use mussels or leave out the protein. Just gonna place them in the center. We're gonna let our broth come to a boil and we're gonna strain everything out except for the beef. We are going to now wash our seaweed. I have been soaking these for about 30, 40 minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and rinse it, but one tip I wanna give you here is as you're rinsing, we're going to rub them together almost like you're doing laundry or washing your rags. You want that nice soft silky and almost slimy texture when you are rubbing them together. And we're going to go ahead and rinse that and strain it. We want to let the seaweed drain a bit before we saute them. Alright, now this is my favorite part. We're going to saute the milk, the seaweed. And you don't want to skip this step. Turn your pan up to a medium. I'm going to drizzle some sesame oil. A tablespoon of minced garlic. I'm going to add in our seaweed. And we're going to saute that for a few minutes. I have already separated my broth and taken my beef out and rinsed it. We're going to add that in now. I'm going to just add in a pinch of salt here. Now I'm going to add in the broth that I had strained earlier. Make sure you strain it well so you don't have any floaties. I'm really big on not having things floating around in my soup. I'm going to add in a tablespoon of kukanjang, which is soup soy sauce. A tablespoon and a half of fish sauce. You don't want to add too much soy sauce or fish sauce. It's just going to enhance the flavor, but if you add too much, you're going to end up with a dark soup. So we're going to season it more with salt a little bit later towards the end so we don't over salt it. We're going to taste it here and see if you want to add a little bit more salt. I'm going to add just a little pinch more salt. Enjoy your nice big bowl of miyoku, Korean seaweed soup. Perfect for any day, but especially on your birthday. Enjoy! Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe!